uh, since I'm majoring in film in media studies, uh, all of my class are about reading and writing, so I chose one film we'll uh, discuss in our class um, uh, to do my presentation. Um, here is my uh, outline. First, I will introduce the film, The Stealer. Second, I will introduce the article I used to analyze the film. And uh, third, I will uh, discuss the issues in the film. Because we, uh, we usually uh, don't discuss the film narrative direction or acting, is, or acting. we usually uh, extract out uh, the issues in the film and relate them to some written materials to analyze, to analyze those issues. So I will now uh, describe the film in, in detail. Mm, this is the simple uh, information of the, of the film. The film is a science, uh, science fiction film. It's uh, it designed a future world, uh, uh, an authoritarian world. Uh, in this uh, world, um, there's a boy uh, named, named, named Memo. He lives in a very poor place. In this place, the water is monopolized by some organization. And um, uh, people uh, can record their memory and sell their memory through computers. And uh, the Memo, Memo, the boy, go to a city to find a job. Uh, all the workers need to uh, install some nodes on their bodies to uh, um, if you want to work you need to install this node and uh, uh, use um, elect uh, electronic lines to connect you to the machine and here is my memo and um, uh, his working environment is separate to the real working place. Like um, maybe he is working in the United States and uh, the, machi the machine is working in Africa, for example. And, and this, this is the article I used to analyze the film. Uh, it's US operating systems at mid-century, the inter tuning of risk and the unix. Uh, the article has three main points. The first is uh, he, uh, the author introduced uh, what's unix. Unix is an operating system for digital computers including Windows and Mac OS X. Uh, we still use unix in our computer now. And the second is um, operating system deeply influence how we know self, other, and society. And the third uh, the author mentioned the rule of modularity, which is very important uh, in the Unix system. Uh, it means um, in the Unix system, uh, the programmer needs to control complexity, That's, uh, which means everything needs to simple, needs to be very easy for user to, to use. Um, and there's one point can explain this. That uh, she said, neither program one nor program two need to know how to sort. That can concentrate on its main task. It means in this operating system, every program is separate, is independent. Um, and in this film, it's uh, full of future fear. Um, the the world in the film is a future world. It's like the it's very same as the uh, Unix operating system. Uh, like um, everything is uh, everything is independent. Um, the polarization between the rich and the poor is uh, one of the most serious problems in the world, no matter in poor country or developed country. And the technology uh, always push the the society move and development um, and uh, give people a uh, happy imagination uh, for future if they can work harder. 
However, in this film, the problem of the pol polarization between the rich and the poor will not be changed, even when technology uh, has developed to a very high level in future, the problem will be cannot be solved. And um, uh, in this film, advanced technology uh, are used to build dam to uh, monopolize the the water and can can produce intelligent gun, uh, can mm, can can make everything act uh, automatically and and the, in this film everything don't need human to control don't need a uh, human to to um, to make it uh, um, acting uh, human just um, replaced by the machines machine can do everything and there's an issue that uh, capital, capitalists use advanced type of technology to control the poor place because in this film the poor place is separate from the, the rich place. They are separate. The, the rich place, the rich country control the, the poor country without, uh, without communicating with them just uh, separate and uh, the rich country use the, the poor country just for, for their resource. So there's another issue, how technology influence our life. Mm -hmm. In future, the whole world will be a huge network and uh, and most individuals will be uh, only a component in it. Um, in the in the film, uh, when the when the girl want to record her memory on the computer, she made she made out a story, and the machine tell her you you have to record what you experienced and remember. You can't make up a story. The machine uh, have has already have has think, has intelligence. They can think, can create, and well, and the the film just just proposed that what what if the machine can 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 think, and uh, and what the human will 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 where the human will exist. Um, like um, uh, how technology influences our life. Um, the first one I I discussed with the globalization. Like in this picture, every part of the the clothes uh, is made in different different countries, and the technology gives the development country. Um, opportunity to use their advanced technology to uh, to use the poor country's uh, resource uh, to uh, it's like a, a globalization make a small small close um, but uh, on the contrary the poor the poor country instead of uh, still being controlled by the developed country and uh, when the when talking about development of internet, when the web uh, was, was in its infancy, people will hope that the technology can help to uh, roll back the authoritarianism. Uh, uh, However, um, as the development of internet, now we uh, use internet everywhere. We, we uh, like uh, like still in other in some countries like China, uh, the government still use uh, the 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 technology to isolate in the sensitive information from public, and uh, uh, in our normal life we go to the Twitter and and Facebook to to see our friends, 
to see our friends and instead of meeting them we we get news from internet instead of seeing uh, television uh, we get everything from internet the internet has totally controlled uh, our lives and people will think techno technology if technology is equal to the concept and the future uh, because uh, now we we work in front of computer we still have conscious of freedom tomorrow we will still work in front of computer however we technology may make us uh, like a working dad and we can only act mechanically because technology made the machine can can do everything instead of human so I have a question do you think machine will replace human body in future and make human body useless 11 minutes